Hello and welcome. My name is April Ray, CEO and founder of the Introvert Mogul Studios. Thank you so much for joining me. So really quick, I wanted to jump on here and talk about affirmations, the power of affirmations. And I hear a lot of people say, you know, I say my affirmations every morning and I'm sitting in the same spot in the same position and I'm saying them over and over again and nothing's happening. Nothing's working. Well, in this next video, we're going to talk about the three things that you want to have, the basic things that you want to have in an affirmation package in order to see real results in your life, in your business, wherever it is that you're trying to do. All right, so stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. So we're talking about three things that you need to have in place when you're saying your affirmations. First of all, number one, you need to pick an affirmation that you believe. Okay, now first, what, what are affirmations? Affirmations are is a statement that you say in order to make a change in the atmosphere of your consciousness so that you can make a change ultimately in the atmosphere of your outer world. You wanna bring on a specific result. You wanna see a specific change, whether it's in your own personality or just in the way you affect people. Uh, maybe you want to have more success in your business. Maybe you want to have more success in your relationships. Uh, maybe you want to see more money coming in. Whatever it is, that's what the purpose of affirmations are all about. It's about changing first you. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is you need to pick an affirmation that you believe in. If you don't believe it can happen, it doesn't matter how many times you say it or how many positions that you're in, or if you're in the lotus position or whatever, it's not going to make it happen if you don't believe it. So that's number one. Pick an affirmation that you can believe can happen. The second one is pick an affirmation that doesn't really have to take 10 years for it to manifest. If you're asking for a million dollars, the universe has to do a lot of stuff, right? <laughs> they gotta, the universe has to not only make a change in you, but it's got to make a change in all the people that you come in contact with, who, who, what, when, and how people are going to come into your life in order to make that happen. So if you're asking for a million dollars and you only make 50 grand a year right now, come on now. We've got to get, you know, cut, use something that you can believe, like $10,000, Right. Maybe uh, I want to make five thousand dollars a month and make an affirmation around that. Something that is pretty much and anything is possible, depending on how much you believe. Right. So but in the meantime, until you actually begin to believe it and you develop that belief, pick something within a, a reasonable range for you to manifest. OK. And the last and most important, this is the ingredient for success when you're doing affirmations, is you have to feel it. You have to have emotion behind the words. If you're saying an affirmation and you don't feel anything, it's not giving you goosebumps, you, the hairs on your arms aren't raising, it's not giving you chills when you say it, pick another affirmation. Find something that is going to click. And I discovered this, I had a head knowledge of this, but I didn't discover this until I kind of stumbled on an affirmation that I was listening to one of my mentors speak at an event. And she said this phrase and I started saying it and I've never had an experience before with other affirmations that I had with this one and because it was really automatic. I didn't have to make it happen. It's something you can create emotion. But in this instance, for whatever reason, I didn't have to create an emotion. It was already there. It was a good feeling. And I said those words and I felt good while I was saying it. I had chills running up and down my spine. I had a big old smile on my face. I would say it out loud, which um, th that's an extra bonus, is say your affirmations out loud like you mean it. Until if you're not feeling that emotion, until you start feeling that, think of something positive, think of something that get yourself in a frenzy, an emotional frenzy, because it's the emotion that propels those words out into the universe to manifest and bring, you know, what it is that you're looking for to you. So when I first, like I said, in my instance, it was instantaneous. I had an instantaneous feeling of awesomeness, of positivity and the very next day, 
And I'm not going to say what it is, but the very next day, something happened. And it wasn't because it was such a general, and that was actually a very general um, affirmation. It wasn't for anything. I didn't say I want $10,000. It was very general. And I just had a flood the very next day of manifestation in my life. Okay. So the affirmations work, but you have to have a formula for success. You have to believe in what you're saying. You have to have a reasonable amount of, of, of possibility, probability in what you're saying. And you have to have it backed by real emotion. When you get the emotion part, you can kind of take yourself and go bigger. You don't have to be in that little, you know, square box of reasonability of some probability of something happen, has something happening of something manifesting. But until then, you know, keep it simple, start off simple, have that emotion. And I guarantee you're going to start to not only feel different in the consciousness of your, of your, of your state of mind, but you're going to see the results in your life. Okay, so I hope that uh, gave you some value. I hope that gave you a little insight. Uh, I hope a, a light bulb went off that you can start incorporating these three steps. And uh, I know that you're going to experience some success in your life. All right, so thank you so much for joining me. If you got value from this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're, if, you're, if you're watching from there, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave a comment if you're watching me on Facebook, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.